Good morning, stock traders. And this morning, I am bringing you the morning market game plan for May 27, 2022. The goal of this show is to go through and cover resistance and support levels in pre-market and some things that I see going into the market to try to help to give you a plan for the day. We are going to be focusing on the S&P 500, but before we get going, if you could do me a favor, please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when a new video comes out. Now, yesterday we saw a very green day going up a total all the way up to a 2% gain on the S&P 500, and we closed right at a previous open gap. So we closed that open gap up at 406. And now uh, looking at the market this morning, we have some open, we have formed a new open gap down. Uh, so 397 is now an open gap down. And what we could be seeing is a bullish impulsive move, but it would make sense to see a pullback today back to 397 and to give up some of those gains that we gave up, at least at some point, touch it, maybe have a wick down, come down and touch it and then proceed upwards. That is one outcome that we can have. So looking here at the hourly chart, you can see that gap uh, really, really clearly um, as we get going uh, looking in the morning. Um, and so now we have formed this um, formed this gap. And so it'll be interesting to see how things go uh, going into the, into the morning. And some things to kind of keep in mind is, is that Russia could default. Um, so that is something that has a high likelihood of happening. And so it'll be interesting to see. You can see this gap. Uh, form right here. You can see this level. The gap will start at 398.43 and go all the way down to 397. So a lot of people buying this morning, um, you know, just buying a few shares. And my plan of attack this morning, I am expecting a pullback. Uh, now that we've filled that upper gap, I'm expecting a pullback all the way, possibly down to 397. Now I have a list of stocks that I plan on buying if we should wick down to this level today. But I am planning on sitting the market out. I like to sell stock uh, and options that are call options at resistance and to buy at support. And that is my secret of success. And so we could see this continue down. Now it will take some very strong Looking at the hourly chart, it will take some really strong momentum to get to that next gap up at 411. And that is not likely uh, to happen unless we have some sort of really amazing catalyst. But I think there are more negative catalysts uh, than positive catalysts this morning. And we could see that pullback. So I am just going to sit tight. I have about 80% of my portfolio in cash. I'm going to be sitting tight uh, at these levels above here. I am buying um, ETFs like 3X bearish ETFs. Um, one I'm looking at today is SPXS. And so that makes three times the percentage amount uh, up. You make money when the stock market falls. And so expecting that move downward. So we'll see what happens. Um, that is the what is most likely. Is that what is going to happen? Uh, no one knows exactly uh, what is going to happen in the stock market. And neither do I. I am not a financial advisor. Of course, you need to do your own due diligence. But th these are just the things that I'm looking at and so the difference resistance levels we have is 396 or excuse me 406 is resistance level we have a gap open up at 411 and so that is to the upside to the downside we have a gap down now open at 397 with a uh, downward uh, we could see support here at 398.50 um, so that is where that gap starts. And so we could see real support right there. It'll be interesting to see how it goes beyond that. I'm not expecting to get below 397 today. Um, but you know, again, if we get some bad news, I mean, it would be easy to see this continued waterfall of selling and this just to be a, uh, new, um, you know, 
lower high and so and to continue on down or to even maybe have a double top kind of look which it doesn't exactly have um, but the next open gap down is at 385 and then below that is 379 so there are some big pitfalls uh, up here we have 411 we also have another gap up here at 413 and so that is something to watch for 1350 we have another gap up way up here at 437.70 and so that'll be interesting to see uh, if and when we should get to that. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this. This is just designed to be a quick little synopsis of where I think the market could be heading for the day. Uh, based on support and resistance levels, if you like it, please leave that. Please hit that thumbs up and uh, make sure and reach out to me in the comment section down below letting me know that you would like this series to continue and to be a regular thing. I wish you all the best today on the stock market. Please have a strategy for each and everything that you enter and have a reason for entering and exit any stock that you enter. And Raytoven out.